We're at the Abrolhos Islands, which is the home of the crayfish. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook up a crayfish for you. So first of all, we need some crayfish. So Simon, you got some crayfish, mate. So I'm going to get Simon to prepare the crayfish for me. In the meantime, I'm going to cook up a few ingredients. Now this is very simple and easy to do. It's uh, what we're we going to call it, mate. I'm going to call it a little uh, crayfish garlic garlic crayfish surprise. The Abrolhos crayfish. The Abrolhos crayfish surprise. There we go. We'll call it the Abrolhos crayfish surprise. You're gonna, you're gonna prepare them. Yep. I'll carve them up. Oh, he's into it. <laughs> he's right into it. I reckon I'll, I'll fire this frying pan up. Let's get that happening. And we get a little bit of butter in there. It's pretty quick. It's a quick little dish, and you want to be quick. So I'm gonna chuck on a heap of butter. Let's just chuck all what we've got in here. We can get the flesh out. Yeah, it can be a little bit tricky, can't they? Sometimes they come out easy. Sometimes they don't. This one's one of those ones that just. Isn't. Now I'm gonna finally chop an onion. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stick the onion in. Give ourselves a little bit of garlic. And we're going to stick that on. So a little bit of garlic and onion. Well, I'm actually going to chuck a heap of garlic. <laughs> All right, what other ingredients we need? We need some bacon. So I'm going to grab some bacon out of the fridge. All righty, so I've got that garlic. She's going along nicely with the, uh, the onion and the butter. Now I'm going to chop up some bacon here, mate. Have you got that cray? You got that cray meat ready to go, eh? No. If you chuck us over the plate there, I might carve it up a bit. All right. Chop it into nice little pieces, like really nice, sort of fine. Not too fine, but you know, sort of. Something like that. Yeah, like that. That'd be good. Just like that. So I've got my bacon here. I'm going to chuck the bacon in. That's sizzling along nicely now. Now, a little bit of salt and pepper. Here we go. A little bit of salt, Simon's favourite. He likes the pink salt, Himalayan salt, see? Comes all the way from downtown Sydney. Good stuff. He thinks it comes from the Himalayas. He's a grey fish. Oh, we're good. The thing with the uh, cray meat is you've got to be really quick with it. You've got to cook it up reasonably fast. You don't want to overcook it, otherwise it just gets all chewy and all rubbery. Carry on and rubbery, stuff like that, so. We'll whack that in. I'll tell you what, you whack that in for me, mate, and I'll get another ingredient out of the fridge, because I need a special ingredient, and your favourite ingredient. Oh, feta cheese. Bit of feta, mate. Can't go wrong with feta cheese. You can't go wrong with feta at all. I think we're getting there. Very close. He's looking very good. That's what I like. You just want to get, see there's a little bit, that one's a little bit raw. Just want to get that colour into it, that white. Yeah, you bake around the back here, it's missing out. <laughs> it's missing out on all the fun. It's missing out on getting in there. <laughs> I can't say it didn't help. If you're baking around the back of the pans, missing out on all the fun. <laughs> you got to bring it in. You don't want to miss out on the bacon fun. All right, I reckon we're ready for a bit of cheese now. The, now, the, the beauty of feta is it just crumbles up. And it's a funny cheese, feta. You wash like your hands. Normal... What? Did you wash your hands? What? <laughs> Wait, go. You know we're on camera. <laughs> All right, so we just crumble that feta over the top. All righty. So you can see that cheese starting to melt in there now. Now I'm going to be a little bit delicate with it. Now you know what that means, don't you, Simon? No. It means I'm gonna, not going to get all brutal and rough with it. I'm going to look after it. And I'm going to give it a special touch. I don't want to break up that feta. I actually want it sitting on top and melting as it cooks. Mate, did you bring your spoon? Did you bring a fork or something like that? Because you're going to have to have a crack at this. Let me go and get one. You go and grab a fork. I'll clean this plate up ready to go. So we got to right, stop mate. washing our cutlery in salt water. She's all going rusty. Yeah, it is a bit. There you go. There's a tip. Don't wash your cutlery in salt water or when you get home, make sure you clean it off. Plastic plates are good. So now I'm going to put a little bit of pepper on top. Look at that. Spinach awesome. leaves. So I'm going to grab some spinach leaves here and I'm just going to chuck these on top. Like that. There we go. A little bit like that on top. And we'll just let them melt away. Or wither away as you could say. They're not going to melt. Mum always said, mate, eat your greens. 
Eat your greens. <laughs> That's looking good. It's looking real good, isn't it? Hell yeah. I think we're ready to go, mate. Let's give it a what whirl. What do you reckon? I reckon we give it a whirl. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really nice. There's more on that plate than this plate, though. No. Oh. Whose is this one? That's yours. Yeah, there we go. go. All right, here you go, mate. There's the fork. Bottom Grab your tea. fork. <laughs> How good is this? Let's have a little bit of a crack <coughs> at it. Fresh crayfish. Wait, don't wait. Wait. Hold. Oh, that's a big fish, that one. So here we are. We've got beautiful crayfish that we caught just the other day, yesterday, or I mean, was it yesterday? Yesterday. You can't remember. You the day's about. just you, been You can keep talking. I'm tasting. Oh, you're eating it. It's getting better now. Oh. Seriously. That is good. That is great. We need to live on crayfish, I reckon. Yeah? I reckon. You need to live out the Ebola silence, mate. Not me. Well, there you go, folks. Crayfish bacon surprise. Abrolis crayfish bacon surprise. Oh, yeah. Abrolis bacon crayfish surprise. Simon says it's pretty good. I reckon it's pretty good. It's damn good. Catch you guys next time.